Hello there, just making a quick video just to show you my Airsoft GoPro setup. First up is the NVG mount, available from most retailers that sell GoPro accessories. Uh, I think I got this one from eBay for about $9.99. It's, it's a very snug fit. I had to make some modifications to the helmet to get the to get it to fit in. Uh, it does sit quite high on the helmet and does uh, does put a bit of weight on the front. It's front heavy, so it could be beneficial to put some counterweight on the back. This is uh, just a makeshift NVG mount that I made before I took delivery of my uh, proper GoPro one. It's uh, it's just a normal flat GoPro mount uh, just stuck onto the blanking plate that came with the FMA Vast Helmet and uh, stuck on there pretty good, it's not going to come off. This uh, white bit is just the anti-vibration cushion. Um, yeah, does a job really, does a job pretty much the same as the uh, the proper part. This is the Rizman. Fits any 20mm rail. You can have it mounted like that underneath your gun or flip the controls of the GoPro over and have it mounted on top of your gun. Uh, obviously you can either have it facing forwards or facing you. It depends which, uh, which view you'd like to record. Uh, the downside of this is it, it it's quite good, but it when it's on when the GoPro is mounted on your gun, you tend to get a lot of footage of the floor unless you're aiming at something. Uh, it's not too bad if you're gonna edit the video, cut lots of it out, but if you're just gonna use the video unedited, you're gonna get a lot of footage of the floor. Fits quite nicely on the gun, very secure. Got a little grub screw there, just to uh, just tighten it up on the gun so you don't so it doesn't come off. Doesn't really get in the way at all. You can have it mounted either side because uh, it just uses the GoPro bracket that goes uh, that goes on there. Right. Uh, this monstrosity here looks absolutely ridiculous on your gun and it's not going to be for every game use uh, it's going to get caught on bushes and brambles and all sorts and probably fall off after a while but if you're just looking to get that selfie shot selfie footage uh, with this you get a nice side view of the gun and you get a nice view of yourself as well whereas with the wrist mount when it's mounted facing backwards it's quite a close view of the gun with this I think it gives a better view of yourself it's the actually the handlebar mount just uh, stuck to the stuck to the barrel stuck to the flash hider looks ridiculous but fairly secure when tightened up properly and does the job this is what I use uh, most of the time this is the the head strap it's a three point goes around your head and over your head very comfortable don't know you're wearing it most of the time uh, you, you do get a little bit of um, up and down movement on the camera when you're running around nothing too major it's not too bad but the comfort level is just pretty awesome really. Uh, I've just got a couple of lanyards, so I strap that to the back of my cap so it doesn't come off and the housing is strapped to that for double safety because um, uh, the, these the hair have a tendency to break on the GoPros so best to be safe than sorry rather than losing it. This is the, the, the GoPro stealth case, it's matte black 
it's uh, no no reflection like the uh, the standard clear case so you're not going to get spotted a mile off by a reflection from the sun it doesn't show any of the LEDs flashing at all uh, it's got the open back it does come with the waterproof back as well but I prefer to use the open skeleton back so you get a better sand yeah pretty good it fits this case fits the GoPro 3 and the GoPro 4 the GoPro 3 plus sorry and the GoPro 4 